Hello, it's Camille from Art Teacher To Go. I'm doing a quick little activity today about color mixing with baking soda, vinegar, and um, food coloring. So this is probably more for somebody little. And um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread the baking soda out on the plate. I probably put about um, maybe four tablespoons, not a ton. Um, I'm gonna put some drops of color on here. Okay, and it'll sink in. And I'm not using a plate that I love. It'll wash off of the plate, but just in case you don't wanna use a favorite plate. So here I've got some drops here. I'm not gonna do a lot of green because truly when the red and the green mix together, it's gonna be an ugly brown. <laughs> And my son got into the blue, so I don't have blue. My dog is looking me right in the eye right now from outside the window. You may hear him scratching on the window trying to get in. There. So, this could be a really quick activity if you let your child get a cup of vinegar and just pour it over the whole thing. So you wanna stretch this out. So when you put vinegar in a bowl, I usually use droppers, but I figure most people don't have droppers, so we're gonna use a straw. Keep this very shallow, because the less vinegar you have in the straw, the slower this activity goes, and you wanna draw it out. So here we go. I've just got a few drops in here. And you're gonna let your child do this. They're gonna do a few drops. <gasps> Look at it bubble. There. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here. And if you remember the Easter egg kits. You probably liked fizzing. So when the red and the yellow get close to each other, they're gonna mix and you're gonna have orange. When the red and the green get close to each other, they're gonna mix and you'll end up with brown. And this is a good way to tell kids if they don't have brown paint, how can you make brown? You mix red and green together. Here we go. My kids are bigger and they still love this. It's kind of fun. You kind of feel like a mad scientist. There. So if you have blue, yellow, and red, you've got the primary colors. And when they touch each other, they mix. And then you can talk about how to mix colors to get a new color. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna to try to mix the red and the yellow. Let's see if we get orange right here. There we go, we did. Okay, cool. So you can let them keep doing one drop at a time until it's all done, and it is perfectly fine to put it down the sink. Nothing will happen. And I just let them go until they're done, and then they stir it together, and it stinks, but that's okay. Because they had fun, they're experimenting, they're learning about colors. There. They're making something. If you have any special request, please let me know. And if you haven't thought about it yet, you might wanna think about what to do tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day. Because the little kids are kinda of used to their teachers playing um, tricks in the classroom. One of the things that they do is dip their, the side of their fist here in shaving cream, both fists here, and then walk it up a window so that it looks like little feet went up the window. I'm trying to be quiet so I don't hear because they don't know. You can do that with flour. We put a little green um, food coloring in the potty. Things like that, they love it. Turn things upside down that aren't supposed to be upside down. And that way they still get the experience even though they're not in school right now. I know for mine, they have both always really looked forward to St. Patrick's Day to see what the leprechauns do in the classroom. It's just something that the teachers do that you don't think about unless you're in there. Here we go. Okay. So that's our color mixing lesson. I'm using just plain, apple cider vinegar, you can use white vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar if you want, regular baking soda, not baking powder, and food coloring. 
Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night and stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.